Um, my name is Mike and I am responsible for security solution for our products. So we show different solutions. So we have um, the solution separated in different sections. For example, basic security requirements, runtime security and physical security. This is the one that it is an overview uh, of the solutions. Uh, so we have a better, for a better understanding a diagram here. It starts with our hardware and that's are the requirements from the customers. So we have different solutions. For example, uh, one important thing is keys and certificates because uh, they are necessary for different kinds of solutions. Because, uh, for example, authentication, device identification. So you needed it for cloud and server uh, services. But you have the problem where are where created these keys and where stored these keys. And you can use, for example, smart cards or trusted execution environment or, for example, NXP CAM module. So, NXP CAM model is for, uh, you can use it if the secure port is activated, then it uh, creates your own uh, symmetric key. And this key you can use to encrypt other keys, for example, for file encryption. And so you can build a chain of trust with secure good file encryption and Unix hardening um, to protect your know-how, for example. And other physical protection is the temporal protection, for example, with encapsulation and housing. So there are different solutions with firewalls and intrusion protection uh, to receive the target for manipulation protection. So, uh, in terms of security, is it possible to have 100% secure? Can you is, it, is it possible to have 100% security? No, it's not possible. Security is a process and the, over the lifetime for, of the product, you can never uh, reach 100% because uh, the technical... Uh, yes. <laughs> There's always some, some... It's in development because um, the environment changes, the technique changes, and there are some vulnerabilities in the software, so you must update the software. And you cannot arrive 100% of the security. So we have um, different solutions um, to receive a different grade of security. So we have always our um, workshops too to explain uh, some different things, um, for example, law things and technical uh, um, details and how you can make your system secure, for example. Another uh, important thing is our provisioning system. So you can use our manufacturing um, to analyze your product. So there are different solutions. Um, for example, it's a standard provisioning. We create key, a public and private key, and grab the public key from the model and give it to you. And you can use it for device identification, for example, or for updates, or for rebranding. Or you bring own, your own device to us, and you make, we make the installation with this device. So it's a black box for us, and you uh, can initialize your system with your features in our manufacturing. Is um, uh, one of the important new ways to do security is um, a secure element on the chipset itself. Do you work with these solutions or are you not talking about this part of the security? And is a lot to do with software updates also? Like yes, what's um, there? we support um, exciting devices, for example smart cards or TPMs too. Um, but we prefer to use um, the features of the controller. So for example, NXP has an NXP CAM module. It uh, has the same features like a TPM. So it's um, better to use it from the controller instead of an external device, for example. But if you want uh, or you need to store more keys and so on, so it's better to use a smart card. And so you have a different um, a key storage outside this, um, the flash and the controller. So the, when you talk about controller, is it a, uh, on the SOC, the chip, there's a Cortex-R or something like that and you use this for security? Yes, we use the Cortex-R for example, or there are um, additional models on the controller, for example, the secure boot 
or for encryption or for cryptographic isolation. There's this kind of features we use, but um, some controllers have an additional security controller inside um, the case. So we can use it um, too. Is there also something uh, that can be said about the embedded world, the embedded industry, not having thought about security enough so far, and now everybody's thinking more about it to do better security in the future? Um, we must take uh, security in the future because um, there are some different uh, laws. It's coming soon, for example, the Cyber Security Act and so on. So we must um, push some security features in the device.